love about racing is the real thrill. It's very competitive. It's a bit dangerous, which is appealing. So uh, it's great fun. I am Joe Twyman and I am the European Sales Consultant for Gooding & Company. Uh, I first started racing when I was eight years of age in go-karts. Uh, I did my first car race when I was 16, 17. My father is involved in motorsport and racing, has a restoration business in the UK. I actually started racing in one of his cars, which was great fun, and we drove together for a period, and then there was a period where I started to become quicker than him, so he sort of deferred and started driving with his friends again, and since then have raced extensively across Europe and in many races from touring cars to Formula One. What I love about racing is the feeling you get. It's just such a such a drug really I think it's one of those things that you do and no other feeling kind of can be replicated anywhere else the speed the, the way that the car sort of becomes part of you Racing Idol, I would say, is someone like Francois Sever, who was a driver from France and killed before his time. And uh, my helmet design that I run today runs with his colors, red, yellow, and blue. And I really like James Hunt as well, who was quite a character in the 70s. And uh, a few years ago, there was a film which Ron Howard directed about James Hunt. A number of us were involved in the filming and the driving in that, and uh, was part of that whole filming process, which was very exciting, even though it wasn't racing. So the last year I had a great few races. I drove a Ford GT40 on a number of occasions. I also raced at Goodwood a couple of times and drove a lightweight E-Type, which was in the TT, which is the biggest race of the Revival weekend. Proudest moment in motor racing would probably be winning my class at the Spa 24 Hours, which was my first ever modern GT race. I really enjoy Monaco, raced a Shadow DN8 there in the last version of the historic Grand Prix, and I finished third, and that was pretty exciting. And one superstition, I only like to get in the car with my right leg first, which can be a problem if it's a right-hand drive car, because it all looks a bit silly, but I don't know why I do that, I just do. In terms of my role at Gooding, it's different because not many of the other people that work in this industry drive. So you have a lot of clients who buy racing cars from Gooding so I can relate to exactly what the car will do on the track and what it might feel like for them. So it puts me in a position where I can give them advice that other people might not be able to give them.